Hi, my name is Bob Hughes with JD Squared, and I'm standing next to our CNC horizontal press, the HP 100. In a series of videos, we will go into detail about the separate features of it, but this video here is just a quick overview of the machine and JD Squared company's philosophy in general. Essentially, what we do at JD Squared is we try to make products that are the value leader in the world. It's fair day's pay, fair day's work, you know? Not necessarily what the market will bear. Um, as a consequence, if you're familiar with JD Squared, you know we sell the number one selling two bender in the world, and that's the Model 3 bender. It sells for $295 in 2011 right here. In 1982, when I started my business, the cheapest bender that I could buy was $1,800, and that's why we decided to manufacture two benders. Well, we're going to bring that same philosophy now into the higher tech machines, and the HP 100 is, is the very first one. Even though she sells for less than $10,000, the machine is designed to compete on the world market with anything under $40,000. We guarantee it will be not only the price leader, the value leader, it will also be the best tool press by somewhere around mid-2012. Our goal over the next year is to have the, the most available tooling at anywhere from a third to a half price of the competition. That's our goals for this machine. But very quickly, without going into too much detail on the features, the press weighs 1,500 pounds. The main frame alone, machined from two and a half inch thick steel and one operation for accuracy, weighs 856 pounds. We use dual computer systems. A computer that controls the user interface uses a seven inch touchscreen Windows based computer running at 533 megahertz and we have about four gigabytes of SD storage in it. You can store a tremendous number of programs through the USB drive on our system. We have developed in-house our own PLC, the, the programmable logic controller that actually controls the machine, was developed by um, actually my son. He's currently doing a PhD in um, robotics and all, so obviously he's the talent behind all that. And we're proud to say that he'll be here in, in around August of 2011, so some of the whiz -bang stuff we're gonna be bringing out will be truly amazing because of him. But he developed the control board. Now what that means to you as a customer is you don't have to worry about one day down the road where we cannot supply you with a part or we don't understand why this is broke or whatever. Since we've designed everything in the machine, you're going to be speaking to the people who know everything about it, so you don't have to worry about ever being left out in the cold. Uh, for instance, my very first bender in the early 80s, the Model 1 bender, to this day, we make die sets for that machine at roughly the same price they've been for the last 15, 20 years. So we're very orientated in the respect that we're not going to leave you out of the cold if we come up with something, you know, a little better mousetrap type deal. We'll take care of you. So that pretty much, just, you know, is the overall things with the exception. I, I should mention that the machine has been designed using metric hardware. In other words, all the nuts, bolts, everything in this machine is metric. And the reason for that is the machine is also what they call Rojas com um, compliant. And what Rojas is, that's the standard where we don't use heavy metals in the electronics and stuff like that. And it's, it's a European standard and soon to be a world standard. The machine has been designed that way. We've gone metric for the simple reason that it is a world machine. It is not designed for the American market. You know, it's designed for the world market. And it turns out that, in my opinion, the metric system is the way to go, you know. And so this whole machine is that. In America, you have no problem. We can get metric bolts all day long, so don't be concerned that it's not an inch machine. <clears throat> in fact, the control system will flick from inch to millimeters in just a touch of a button. So we, we try to cover all of the basics. So that's basically the general overview of the machine. And in other videos, I will be talking about the specifics of each feature. Please check them out. Thank you.